Hi school teachers of Reddit. What is the one thing that you want your students to know that you'd never tell them in person? Your parents are literally the worst part of my job. Yes. I put you in a group with the kid you have a crush on intentionally. I'm stuck here with you 180 days a year. I want to see some drama. Edit. I think this is my most upvoted comment. Glad my matchmaking could make some folks smile. Also. Thanks for my first gold. Edit part 2. Silver 2? No paparazzi. Please. But seriously. Thanks. I think what you learn in the other classes is mostly useless rubbish. The things you're supposed to do to learn it is boring and ineffective. And the way our schools are organized is archaic and not fit for humans. Much less kids. I'm not saying I liked fights in my classroom. I'm just saying I might have taken a little longer to react when the jerk student bully was finally getting what was long overdue. Also. Thank you to my students who would have my back when they'd kindly remind the class that I exist. Hey. Yeah almost the FCK shut the FCK up. MR. Is trying to teach. I had to look a little disappointed. But I appreciate you and I thank you for being my voice. Stop wearing your furry tail. Everyone is uncomfortable. Yes. We have a new seating chart. And yes. I sat you next to her because I can tell you have a crush on her. I noticed you try harder on your work when she is around. And to be honest. You two would make a cute couple. I am no longer a teacher. But I remember several days that I felt lazy and wanted to give the class the day off. I never did because I knew the teacher's pet would rat me out. Sometimes even the teachers don't like the teacher's pet. I'd let you get away with so much more if you were actually a decent person who treated others with kindness and respect. Assholes rarely get the benefit of doubt or indifference. If you're nice to me and aren't disruptive I'll always work the numbers in your favor when it comes time to post grades. I teach middle school in Taiwan. My students are 60% ESL, 30% intermediate English proficiency, and 10% native fluency. Only have 42 students so this number is pretty on the money. I want to tell them this. I'm not an idiot. When you are ridiculing me in Chinese. I've picked up phrases and know which ones you're using. Don't act surprised when I give you detention for calling me Benden, Dumbus, or Beichi, idiot. I know what you're saying ugh. Benden. Trying hard is necessary but not sufficient for most accomplishments. Intelligence is necessary but not sufficient for most accomplishments. I can't tell the sweet. Hard working but unintelligent kid he won't be a doctor. I can't tell the smart but lazy asshole he won't be a doctor. Both end up in my remedial class and blame being in remedial class on mean teachers labeling them. I appreciate childhood is the time for dreams but it means people make terrible decisions when they don't understand that we just put them at the highest level we think they can pass. We don't know why they are years behind their peers. Just that they are. I try to see potential and inspire kids to try their best. I really do. But there's not a lot I can do if someone is dedicated to hiding their low intelligence by trying to appear as a lazy asshole instead or trying to hide their higher intelligence by pretending to be unintelligent to get easier work. You can be unsuccessful at school but successful in life. I pretend that it is important for you to do well in my subject. But in reality you'll most probably find your niche in life and be reasonably content or hopefully extremely happy. You might hate maths. English. Science. But turn out to be the most amazing parent. Artist. Carpenter or even a mathematician. Playwright or researcher. You might get the lowest scores in class and end up being the most successful of your peers. I feign annoyance. Anger. Disappointment. I reluctantly phone your parents. Give you detentions. Or write up critical reports. I have to. It's my job. If you do well in my subject then that's great. But if you don't then just relax. We can't all be good at everything. Semicolon. Oh. And do you think you hate exams? Tests and homework? 
Your mild dislike of the work is a mere candle flame compared to the hatred that burns like a million suns. That I feel when I have to fking mark it. Yelling FCK. In the hallways doesn't make you a badass. Teachers are yelling FCK in their heads all day long. I can see who you have a crush on in the classroom. The weed smell doesn't magically disappear between the parking lot and my classroom. We can smell the weed. Seriously. At least wait until after school. Look. Obviously I am on reddit all day too or I wouldn't be posting here. But for the love of god can you please pretend to be working so I can go back to being disappointed by reposts. If your parents email a teacher and argue with them. The whole staff knows. I just wanna say that I love all of you wonderful. Underappreciated and underpaid teachers. Teachers got me through some of the worst times of my childhood and adolescence. Boom copyright airing. Except for you. MRS. Hansen. FCKU. Edit. It's been almost a month and I still appreciate people using this comment as a place to go off on the shtty teachers they've had. Teachers are amazing. Keep shting on the ones who don't deserve to be grouped in with the awesome majority. That we have much better hearing than you assume. We just choose our battles as it pertains to inappropriate comments. And sometimes I pretend not to see that thing you did just because I too found it humorous. And speaking to you about it would only result in me cracking up. Edit. Well this really blew up. I am barely seeing people's reactions to it. I appreciate all the responses. A lot of great comments. And I can definitely share stories for those interested. If I know your name by the third day of a new school year. That means you're probably an asshole. When you think you are being genius by getting me to talk about random things at the beginning of class instead of teaching. I'm really allowing it to happen bc I don't have enough plan to cover a full class. Not a teacher but an evening janitor. Part of my area is where the robotics club gathers and works. You guys are so amazing. I wish you could see what I see. A group of kids who are well mixed in ethnicity and gender working hard together. I never see signs of drama when I walk by. When I look through the windows I can see that you guys are listening to each other and treating each other seriously. While also having fun. When you guys leave at night. Your room is my favorite room to clean. It's always so clean already and I get to look at your projects and see what all that elbow grease is doing. It's so encouraging to know that these kids are part of our future. They stay an average of 2 hours after school every day and you can tell it's not forced. They are so enthusiastic that their energy practically shines into the hallway. I'm a bus driver. Sit the FCK down you will die if I crash. You don't need anything I teach you to be successful in life. Math is about learning to think. Not graphing functions and solving equations. Below. People assuming I don't know where the math I teach is used. I promise I do. The point I'm making is that we don't care if the general population can solve polynomial equations. We care that they learn to think. I can definitely hear the horrible things you are saying. Yes. I see that you are on the other side of the room. I may be old to you but I am certainly not deaf. Also. That teenage boy is definitely going to buy you a Big Mac in exchange for Oral SX. 100 out 100 times. You are right. The administration is completely out of touch when it comes to technology. I also work better while listening to music on my phone. That my students are the reason why I am second guessing having my own kids. I teach middle school. Not high school. But for me. It's that I know shti sucks at home. I see it every day when you come into my class. I see the tears you're hiding. The pain behind that class clown smile. The emotional fragility behind your tough guy persona. I know exactly what it's like to come from a broken home. I wish I could do something. But until you come to me. All I can do is try and let you know. With a look. A smile. A subtle turn of phrase. That I'm always there for you when you need an ear. Or a shoulder. 
please stop dueling in the classrooms that's what the bathrooms are for. Why are there toilets in the dual room? That it's just as weird for me as it is for you when we bump into each other in public. Edit. Instead of responding to all. I'll tell my story here. I went on vacation with my then GF. And bumped into a student three states over. We both kind of shook our heads no at each other. And kept walking. Silently agreeing to not address it. I saw this same student again two months later. During the summer. At a concert where they were underage drinking. We just shook our heads at one another again. Keeping that same silent agreement. I saw this same student four more times during the summer entirely by accident. It was never discussed. Right now my students are up in our mobile. Class was supposed to start at noon. My co-teachers and I are down in the classroom. They're thinking if no one goes down there to get them. We won't have to do any work. We're thinking let's see if anyone comes down here to grab us. Social experiment. If not. We don't have to do anything. The events that happen when the day should have been a snow day. If I didn't think you would abuse the situation. I would really enjoy being more human and casual around you. I think you are a fun person to be around. You're unique. You're not special. Set your goals high but understand that if you change your goals to needs. You will have a lifetime of disappointment. I would honestly tell my little kindergartners that life is tough. I love you. Many of you can't count on your parents at all. You're poor and have to work harder. I need you to understand how important your education is for having a better life. But I'm a male teacher in early childhood. Distance is very important. And can't afford to have a parent go all mama bear on me. So I just do my best to make them feel valued in my class. The odds of you using any specific piece of knowledge you learn in high school is slim. The odds of you using some piece of knowledge from high school is near absolute and you have no idea what it's going to be or when it will happen. So you may as well try it all of it. The biggest thing you're going to learn is how to learn. To my freshman. Yes I always know when you didn't do my math because you stayed up late playing Fortnite. You added me as a friend on Epic so I see that. Also the amount of homework not done in lower grades when new battle passes come out is so coincidental. To a specific freshman. I support your desire to become a streamer. But editing videos should not keep you away from your homework for a whole week and your friends always rat you out when you stay home skip to make edit those videos. To all high schoolers I teach. You're dumb. But I do love you guys. I'm not stupid and while I know you cheat on your homework. I don't care since it's only worth 10% of your grade and you're foregoing the practice you can get before the test. To the 6th graders I teach math too. Dear lord you make me cringe so hard I have to take ibuprofen some days. I have so much more. But my lunch break is almost over. HS band director here. I know you didn't touch your horn over the weekend. If you did. You wouldn't sound like rotten cat asshole. The reason you ride on boy buses and girl buses is because I don't want band parents in my band. I was in high school before you and I know exactly what happens on bus rides. In my 11 year career. The only names that I truly remember are the insanely talented kids and the students who were completely inept. Lastly. This job is so intensely stressful I think I might be taking years off my life. But if I loosen up my standards your band experience will be unmemorable. Your sense of entitlement is most likely acquired from your upbringing. So parent-teacher conferences to discuss your grades and going to dish tea when the parents just blame us. Despite you putting in little to zero effort. My gamer tag. I usually say there's a policy against it but there isn't. I just don't want to play Overwatch or whatever with a bunch of relatively good kids who turn into total monsters when they play video games. If I tell the cool ones. It'll get around. I love these posts because the comments are generally well formatted. Thanks. Teachers. I don't care that you came to class stoned. Just stop interrupting class. And for God's sake. Don't touch any power tools while you're stoned. 
I taught after school care summer school for a year and I want so badly to tell them that. Dot. Common now is a great time to find out who they are and to stop parroting what they hear other people say. 2. Comma stop trying so hard to make Jamie like you and be your friend because even though you and Jamie have been friends since pre-K. People growing apart is normal and Jamie is a manipulative ming muffin. 3. Comma I kept Owen and other troublemakers close to me in class because giving them just a little positive attention was infinitely preferable to giving them all of my attention in a negative light. Plus. Maybe they just needed someone to listen and give them one on one. Which I'm happy to do. 4. Comma it's useless saying it because it's not going to make a difference. But this week's crisis won't matter next year or maybe even next week and it certainly won't matter on your deathbed. Semicolon. You're not going to be YouTube famous city FCK down and listen. A lot of us probably drink. Smoke. Sleep around. ETC more than you do. And hearing you talking about it and trying to hide it as if it's something we wouldn't know about is richly ironic. If you are stupid enough to have filmed yourself doing something that can get you in trouble. Especially legal trouble. For the love of god don't post it online. Edit. I am not telling them this because plenty of them would see it as me approving of them misbehaving as long as they don't get caught. I hate the texts as much as you do. But everyone just shrugs when I suggest changing them up. I'm sorry they made us keep that awful after book on the list. I had an eccentric literature teacher in high school. Dr. Patek. Who was required to teach the Odyssey. He absolutely hated it. So much so. He taught us off of the cliff notes. He explained how he was teaching it to us under protest. In his very thick Polish accent. Just another example. He organized the class into rows. Then by gave each person a rank. The first in the row was the captain. And so on. You got promoted or demoted for getting answers right. But also for completely arbitrary reasons. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. I can tell 95% of what you're saying is a lie. So stop. You passed this course because admin forced me to help you and give you 50 chances. Yeah. You may graduate. But nobody will care to help you afterwards. You have no skills. Work ethic. Respect. McDonald's doesn't want an employee that stares at his her phone and curses at employees all day. I'm sorry that your parents failed you. Your inappropriate jokes are hilarious. But I'm not allowed to laugh at them. Yes. You may be smart. But nobody will care after you're done with school. Your future boss won't care about how high your raw intelligence is, so f king try harder. Please. Some of your teachers at this school are really stupid. He's gross. Don't date him. Shut the fck up while I'm talking. Edit. Meant customers in the first example. But I'm sure they would curse at employees. 2. Proofreading is vital. One day you're going to come across people who are not being paid to tolerate you. One of the most valuable lessons I can teach you is to fake looking busy. If we're supposed to be working on an assignment or reading or whatever. And you see me coming your way. At the least have a piece of paper on your desk and a pen in your hand and some sh tea on your paper. And then I won't bother you. If you have nothing going on and can't even be bothered to make it look like you're trying. I'm heading your way. This lesson will be invaluable with eventual bosses someday. Yes. You do have favorite students. No. I won't tell you who they are because that would discourage you. But yes they're probably who you imagine them to be. Sort of late to this party. But I often want to tell my students to enjoy themselves more and worry less. And I guess I do tell them that pretty often. But what I really wish I could communicate is that it's perfectly natural to break the rules and be a little more reckless at their age. This would be pretty irresponsible of me to tell them as kids need their teachers to be role models of good impulses. Not bad impulses. But sometimes I want to. Kids today seem very frightened of the future and don't want to take chances. Especially when it comes to having fun. I don't blame them based on the environments they are raised in. Also if they have an A plus in my class. 
they can make a low F on the final and still wind up with an A. I don't know if there's an exact quote I'd use. But I wish I could let my students know how dumb they look sometimes. And how they need to relax and stop taking themselves so seriously. I also frequently find myself wishing I could rag on kids clothes hairstyles that they've obviously put way too much time money into, but these thoughts only cross my mind when they're being assholes. That's the unprofessional petty stuff I'd say. I could think of something much more wise. But it's my lunch break and Friday and my brain is fried from trying to keep these assholes together a week before finals. I encourage my worst kids as much or more than my favorites because I don't want them back in my class next year.